The past tense is used in Kalala when the speaker wants to make sure that the listener knows that the action happened before now. The rule for forming the past tense in Kalala is very easy. Put ya after the verb. I went. Ya yatsun. Ya yatsun. We went. Ya yatst. Ya yes. You went. Ya yat. Ya yat. You all went. Ya yat why. Ya yat why. He she or it went. Ya ya. Ya ya. I took it. Kwatiatun. Kwatiatun. We took it. Kwatiatst. Kwatiast. You took it. Kwatiat. Kwatiat. You all took it. Kwatiat why. Kwatiat why. He she or it took it. Kwatia. Kwatia. In English, the past tense is required if the action happened in the past, and you must use the future tense if the action is to be in the future. In Klawam, these tenses are not required. They are used only if the speaker wants to make sure the listener does not misunderstand. So, for example, the sentence hiatsen could mean I go, or I went, or I will go, depending on the context. If the context does not make it clear, then use the past or future tense. The past tense is formed the same way in both transitive and intransitive verbs. Note that the ya precedes the subject except when the subject is a s ending. Note ya and the future maker tsa introduced in the next section are grammatical particles and so are never stressed. Future tense. The future tense is used in Kalalam when the speaker wants the listener to know that he or she is sure that the action is going to happen. The rule for forming the future tense in Kalalam is almost as easy as the past tense. Put sa after the verb. But when the subject is Sin, I, you must drop the C. So instead of saying tsa sin, you get tsa n. In ordinary rapid speech, tsa n often sounds like tsa n with the vowels stretched out a little. The future tense is formed the same way in both transitive and intransitive verbs. Note that the tsa precedes the subject except when the subject is the s ending. Note that the future tense in English can be expressed in several, several ways. I'll go, I'll go, have, I am going to go, or I'm going to go. There is only one future tense in clown. Remember that just as for the past tense, the future sa is not required. It is used only when the speaker wants to make it absolutely clear that the event will happen in the future. It's important to mention that for some speakers it is not possible to use sa with you. That is, for some speakers, hiya sa is not good Klaalam like usage. The reason given is that I can't tell you what you're going to do in the future. I'm gonna go. Yeah, John. Yeah, John. We're going to go. Yeah, just. Yeah, just. You're going to go. Yeah, just. Yeah, just. You're all going to go. Yeah, just. Why? Yeah, just. Why? He, she, or it's going to go. Yeah, just. Yeah, just. I'm going to take it. Quit, John. Quit, John. We're going to take it. Quit, just. Quit, just. You're going to take it. Quit, just. You're all going to take it. He, she, or it's going to take it. Straight up, 
All right. Strap. Corn. 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 Sap. 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 Tet. Chat. Tet. Mist. 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 Hatched. 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 Cleat. 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 To quat. To quat. To quat. Quick. 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 Quat. Quat. Let's translate a few short sentences using the intransitive verbs in the command video with a future past tense. Eat tsa. Eat Sleep. Tsa. Future tense. Notice that there isn't any pronoun for intransitive because it's implied for he, she, they, or it. So in English it would be he, she, they, or it, let's just say he, will sleep. Now let's put that in past tense. Eat, ya. Eat, sleep, ya, past tense. He slept. Shawi tsat. Shawi grow tsat future tense t you. You will grow. Huitung tsat sin or huitung tsatin. Huitung jump tsat future tense sin. I. I will jump. Now you try this. Eat some yat hai. Eat some get dressed. Ya, is that a future or past tense? Past tense. Tuhai. You folks. So in English, that would be, you folks get dressed. Now try this one. Klau tsatst. Klau, run away. Tsa, is that our future or past tense? Future tense. We. We will run away. Now, let's try using our new transitive verbs along with future and past tense. Kweets, ya. Kweet. Hold it. S. Would be our he, she, they, it suffix. So let's just say she. Ya. Past tense. Kweets, ya. She held it. Now let's try that in a future tense. Kweet tsa. Kweet. Hold it. S. He, she, they, it suffix. And we're saying she in this one. Tsa. Future tense. Kweet tsa. She will hold it. Tschet ya tsuhai. Tschet. Wake it. Ya. Past tense. Hi, you folks. You folks woke it. Sa it tsatst. Sa it lift it. Sa future tense. St. We. We will lift it. Now your turn. Chi yat. Chi. Ya. You knew it. Last one. Quinangit yatsin. Quinangit yatsin. I helped it.
Hot next, a queen's hat slam. Nest I moots and queer tea or